Okay, you guys, I'm doing a new one. It is called Until Death Do Us Part. Um, you guys know I hate these episodes with these character people. Oh, I hate these people here. They irritate me, especially the way they walk. Just irritate the fuck out of my son. If you hate my story, just stop reading it. <laughs> Don't leave hate mail. Simple. Or I'm going to have the WWE smack down in your ass. Okay, alright. Anywho. Okay. If I want to get two legs in there, I'm like that. I'm not feeling damn broken heart, girl. Okay, yeah, let's jump into the fucking story, y'all. <laughs> My name is uh, Valentina Gavana. Uh, or Giovanni. G- Giovanni. And him. And I'm being forced to marry a man I don't love. Okay, girl, well. <laughs> you probably wonder how is this. How is this miserable marriage, how did this miserable marriage come about? Well, let's start from the beginning. Girl, I hate when people put these damn warning shirts. Really. I hate these characters. They just irritate me. Please, guys, stop sending me stories with these people in it. Okay. Raphael, Rosaline. Layla, Valentina. Oh, girl, I don't know what the hell that said, girl. I don't think that was a real name. Hurry up. <laughs> this crazy ass woman screaming is my mother. Celia, wife of um, Rico. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, no, no, hell no. Wait a minute. Good morning, mama. Okay, cuz, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, about to, uh-uh. I'm about to be speaking no Spanish for y'all, girl. <sighs> That's her brother, Raphael. First born to Cecilia and Ricaro Giovanni. He's heir to his father's business. <sighs> this is the most serious person I've ever met. <laughs> I swear, in my 17 years of living, I never. Seeing him laugh or smile. Good morning, Raphael. Mama, I'm too old for that nickname. Well, Ralph or whatever. Too bad you always be my little Ralphie. Ugh. When Papa arrives, well, retires, I'm going to be next. Mafia boss? What the fuck going on here? No boss with a nickname, Ralphie, will be respected. My father is the head of the Italian Mafia. And when he retires, Raphael will continue his legacy. I don't care. I will personally skin all of those men who, who make fun of my nickname, bitch, okay? Does that solve your problem, Ralphie? Mama, you're too ruthless. <sighs> I'll take that as a compliment. Now go on side. Do we gotta talk to all the goddamn kids she named? This is her older sister, Rosalind. Firstborn daughter. She's a big mouth snitch. Someone needs to teach her that snitches get stitches. Okay. Mama, you do need to have a word with a Valentina. What did she do now? She's been getting on everyone's nerves. She might be 17, but she acts 14. I think she's trying to have fun. She needs to be more responsible like me. Okay, girl. Get your ass in the house, girl. I'll talk to her. Okay, okay. Bye, mama. Thank you. Love you. Bye. Jesus Christ. So we got to talk to all these kids that she named off? (laughs) Mama, help. Oh, God. Valentina. (laughs) <laughs> Stop chasing your sister with a knife. Not with a knife. She's going to kill me. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> oh, she's my favorite person in the world. She's just teasing you. This isn't teasing, mama. It's abuse. What can she be doing that's so bad? We were playing cops and robbers, and I was caught. 
And then she took out her knife and said, the tables have turned, motherfucker. <laughs> Hell no. <nah. laughs> Can you imagine your kid saying that to you? Okay. Mama, she started chasing me around with the knife. Thou cheated. You're not allowed to have weapons and cops and robbers. Mama, it's not funny. She almost stabbed me. I'll speak to her. Oh, I'll speak to her sweetheart. Really? Yes. And this is me, Valentina. Second born daughter. But 14 at heart. I just want to play with you, Valentina. No, I don't want to play anymore. I promise to be more careful with my knife. <laughs> I don't trust you. You're too clumsy. <laughs> I'm not that clumsy, right, Mama? You fell down the stairs three times yesterday, girl. That proves nothing. Girl, that proves that you ain't got no damn balance, baby, at least. You need to stop teasing your little sister, Val. Why? It's fun. Not for me. You love our games. <laughs> <laughs> Not when you almost stabbed my eye. <laughs> I didn't know uh, that that counts for something, right? I guess. You're going to end up killing me one day, aren't you? Probably. But know that I love you. I love you too. <sighs> Why are you always teasing your sisters? Because it's fun and I love her. Don't tease her too much, though. I won't do anything to hurt her. Good. Rosalina expressed some concern about your behavior. Oh, Rosalina's eyes. Um, let me guess. She thinks I, I don't act my age and I need to be more responsible. How did you know? She says this to me every day, girl. She thinks she's so much better than Layla and I. I'm sick and tired of her. Valentina, we do not get tired of family. Oh, girl, okay. Uh, I'm sorry, mama. Mm-hmm. I just don't know why she hates me so much. She doesn't hate you, honey. She just wants what's best for you. I hope so. Okay, good. Now let's go inside. <sighs> Wait, mama, where are we? Uh, we are at Seamus Calhoun, Calhoun Mansion. Um, the head of the Irish mob, yes, we have important business to discuss, but I thought the Irish were our enemies. Girl, wow. this is stressing me out. It is viral. We put our differences with the Calhoun family. Uh, wait, I don't know. But why? Why not? Why now? You'll learn soon. What could she mean? I hate when she's evasive. Valentina. Hurry the hell up. Where were you? You ran the opposite way. What the fuck? Whoa, it's like a castle in here. How much money do you think they have? Probably enough to feed all starving kids in the world. Not in the damn world, girl. How do you think they made this much money? Layla was, uh, was oblivious to the world we live in. She didn't know we made money by selling drugs, killing, and other illegal activities. I admire her innocence and didn't want her to lose it. So I said the first thing that came to my mind, money probably grows out of their asses. Valentina, <laughs> <laughs> girl, you actually believe that? Sure I do. Extra age for once in your life, Valentina. And Layla, I'm ashamed you find her cute, her crude jokes amusing. Come with me, Layla. I don't want Valentina's uh, negativity to impact you. Bye, sis. Girl, you real, ugh, real annoying fish, girl. For the record, money doesn't grow out of our asses. <laughs> The devilish handsome man in front of me looked oddly familiar. I've seen his face before. Who are you? You don't know who I am? Interesting. Am I supposed to know who you are? No, but I know who you are. You're Valentina. I'm not... Why you gotta be saying everybody whole full government ass name? Second born daughter of Cecilia and fucking uh, Ricardo. Girl, you know my birthday child. What the fuck 
Yeah. How do you know all of that? I've done my research. Mm, so you Google the bitches. Okay, girl. My mother and father made sure none of our identities could be found anywhere. So how did he find all of this out? You seem to know a lot about me. But why don't I know anything about you? That's surprising considering I'm quite famous. I find that hard to believe. Recognize the name Alexander Calhoun? Calhoun. Calhoun. My body uh, erupts in goosebumps as fear fills my bones. Now I know who this man was. Alexander the Butcher. Not the Butcher. He developed the nickname the Butcher after he spent hours cutting off limbs of a Russian spy. He is supposedly considered the hottest man in the West Coast. I know, I don't know him, girl. He ain't. He's currently C CEO of Calhan Casinos and a most successful casino chain in California. <sighs> and the next era in the line to the Italian mob. You're the butcher. In the flesh, baby. Please call me Alex. Okay. I like this hair she got going on. What are you doing? Back up, child. You're very beautiful, Valentina. And those clothes, just wow. His eyes roam up and down my body, less burning brightly. And his eyes, my heart beats rapidly in my chest. I start to shake out of fear. I think your clothes would look better on the on my bedroom floor. Oh, wait. Hell to the now. Did he just use that lame ass pickup line on me, girl? Yes, he did, girl. <coughs> Whether I was scared or not, I wasn't gonna <coughs> submit to his allure like a little bitch. <coughs> I need to show this boy a lesson. Punch him. I said, back up. I punch Alex as hard as I could in the lower abdomen. Next time you pull a stunt like that, I'll be punching somewhere much lower than your stomach. Okay, girl. What the fuck? <laughs> I hated guys like Alex. They all thought they were God's gifts to women and could get in between any girl's legs. Sure, Alex was fucking sexy, but there was no way in hell I would ever be caught in his bed. Or, or would you be caught in his bed, though? Lord knows how many women he brought to his bedroom for a night. Here, here. Um, for a night and then threw out like trash the next morning. Stop following me, asshole. This is my house, sweetheart. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. Don't call me sweetheart. I'm not your sweetheart. You will be. What the hell do you mean? Ah, Alexander. I'm glad you're getting better acquainted with my daughter. Why? Because in eight months, you are to marry Alexander. What? To be continued. Child. Mm. I knew he was going to be the bitch that a nigga had to marry cause I just because just she didn't punch him in the damn throat and shit. But whatever, however. Um, I don't know if I like this. I know I'm, I'm not really into it because of the characters. That's for sure, for sure. But since it's getting interesting, I'm going to, you know, upload to and see how that goes. Um, until next time, people. Until next time.